creating a virtual camera in OBS and using that in Zoom. Now I already have a couple of videos on OBS on our channel. If you just go to our channel and search OBS, you'll see how to get started here, how to set up a green screen. And there's also a wealth of information on OBS and LinkedIn Learning. You especially want to look for the things that show you how to configure OBS because within OBS you can configure windows, videos, web pages, programs, etc. But now we're just going to concentrate on setting up your virtual camera. Downloading OBS. You might have the 64-bit version already and the camera may or may not work with that. I found another YouTuber, I wish I could give him credit, who said that the virtual camera seems to work better with the 32-bit version. So that's what I'm going to click on. Well, I went to obsproject.com slash download, and I'm going to download the 32-bit version. So I've installed OBS. Next, I'm going to Google download OBS virtual camera. So I'm at obsproject.com slash forum slash resources slash OBS. That's virtual cam.539. And here's OBS Virtual Cam. I'm going to click Go to Download. And I'm going to install the camera in the same folder where I installed OBS. And it defaults to the same folder. And notice I have the choice between four virtual cams and one. It's up to you. I'll go ahead and choose four. And install. So those are the, the cameras, those succeeded. And you may or may not need to reboot your computer. But let's go ahead and just go to OBS. And I'm not going to run the auto configuration wizard right now. That's what helps you get started with live streaming. We're just looking at the virtual camera. So we'll go to tools. And there's virtual cam. So of course, before you turn on the virtual cam, you want to set up your scenes. And again, you can find more information on your setups in my other videos or especially in lynda.com or linkedinlearning.com. Actually, we'll set up one scene just to see how it works. I'm going to try to put in a video. I'm going to hit look, look at all these options you can set up. I'm going to add in a video. So I click plus. I'm going to choose media source. Create new. OK. Browse. And I'll just find the video on my computer. So I've uploaded the video and I could check loop if I want. That means when the video is done playing, if you're still in your meeting, it'll just loop again. And you have several other options there, of course. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we have a video playing in OBS. Let's go to Tools, Virtual Cam. I'll go ahead and select Auto Start and notice the target camera. You should have several options there because we installed several cameras. I'm just going to choose OBS camera. Now we'll open up Zoom. And you can either start a meeting or be in someone else's meeting. Click the little up arrow next to camera. Okay, so it didn't find the, let's try that again. It didn't find the virtual cam, so I'm going to try it again. Oh, okay, I didn't click start. Okay, so I click start on the virtual cam. We'll click the little arrow next to the camera. And notice here are all of our options. There's all of our Zoom. There's all of our OBS cameras. I'm going to click the first one because that's the one we chose in OBS. And I'll turn on the video. And so instead of your video, then your users would see the video that you're playing. And of course, again, this doesn't just work with videos. You could show web pages, windows, graphics, etc.